Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Start Stitches. Hope you are well. Thank you for coming back if you've watched me before, or welcome. Um, I'm Michelle, in case you didn't know, um, and I am Shell Star Stitches. Um, that's a lot of erms in the first sentence. <laughs> You'll get to know that from me. Right, we've got some bits to show you this week. So, I've got some finished projects, um, three items to show you. Um, and a couple of deliveries, um, one of which, um, which I will put at the very end of this video and I'll put chapters in so you can skip or what have you, is the latest Toft Flora Society instalment number three for autumn. That has only arrived today and the pattern literally has only just come out in the last five minutes on Toft um, on the website um, in my pattern area. Um, so yeah i'll do that at the end so that you can watch most of this video if you want to without spoilers um so firstly i'll show you what else has arrived this week um, and then talk a little bit about what i've done and toff's website update first so um on one of the selling pages um, i did make a toff purchase because i missed this hand eye club um and i did debate signing up to it but i think because i hadn't seen the sort of the yarn not in person, but like in real life on, on the pages. And when people started to post their makes, I really liked it because actually the photos from Toft made it look a lot more um, sort of muted and pastel than it is. Um, so it's the Sand Gecko Hand Dye Yarn. Um, I didn't get the pattern with it, but I purchased the yarn off someone on one of the selling pages. Complete 100 gram skein. It went on a little trip. Um, it got sent to me and then ended up back with the sender um, because I think it must have the outside of the package in the label got wet and the address all came off um, but luckily they had her address and postcode as the sender um, and sent it back to her. Bit odd because it was sent recorded delivery and they put in the postcode and the sorry my phone going off the postcode and the house number on the recorded delivery and they could still see all that on the parcel so Anyway, it got resent and it finally came to me this week. So the Sand Gecko so yarn, which you may have seen if you're a Toft follower already. Um, so you can see there the label. And I've kept this indoors today, even though it's nice outside, so that you can hopefully see the colour better. That's just a black yarn for the eyes tucked in there. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, I want to say sort of opal tones, if that makes sense. So it's some undyed along with some really, really muted colours running through it. Um, so yes, yeah, so that arrived this week finally after a little bit of a delay. Um, so that got here. Right, we'll talk about Toft website update first and then I'll show you my makes. So Toft yesterday updated their website. Um, it's a bank holiday for us here in the UK on Monday coming. Um, so they've done a bank holiday special and they've gone all out on the patches. So if you're not from the UK, if you're outside the UK and you can't get to shows and you want patches, go for it if you can afford it. Um, literally, I think pretty much all the kits, maybe bar two, are online. So you purchase the kit for the make and you get the coordinating patch. So there's Joanna the Lobster, there's Beth the Dutch Rabbit. Um, there is a new one, Wayne the Gotland, Gotland Sheep. Um, which I have ordered myself because I don't have that in my collection. Um, I think, funnily enough, a lot of people online have said the chap called Wayne, who the kit and the patch were named after, has actually since left Toft. So I've definitely gone to get one of those straight away because they probably aren't going to renew his patch after they've sold out of them all. Um, the Ethel the Kiwi, which I obviously, I think if you watch my videos, you'll see that I did purchase off one of the selling pages. Um, the kit and the patch came all the way from New Zealand and I did obviously pay an overinflated price for it. Um, I think you can get the patch and the kit on Toft for this weekend only for £25. Um, and the Kiwi patch, which actually I've got here still, was a limited edition one that went to the shop, the Ribbon Rose, um, in New Zealand. So they are doing this because I think they realised that one of these patches on its own went for £100 on eBay. So... I think I paid £80 for my kit and my patch. So I didn't fare too well in that respect because value for money, I got the patch and the kit, but you can now get both for £25. So go, 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 as uh, they would say to Bridget Jones. Um, 
Also, they're doing dinosaur kits. So the Sloan um, dinosaur that was a natural history museum, uh, limited edition. They're doing that with the dinosaur patch. Um, those that are going on later courses at the Natural History Museum this year, they've got allocated um, quantities for the dinosaur patches. Um, so you're not going to miss out on those. Um, yeah, the dinosaur patch, you've got all of them. The Sea Life ones that they did a couple of years ago as freebies. Uh, Stella the Clockwork Nightingale. The Easter Chick, literally, go and have a look. If I'm, har I'm harpering on here, harboring on? You know what I mean. Basically, if you're a patch collector and you want them and you can afford them or you can call in some birthday presents or some Christmas presents to get your collection up, definitely do it. Um, especially if you can't travel to shows. It's better than paying selling price prices, if that makes sense, because there is a markup value on them and that's not how they were intended. But obviously, um, you know, demand increases the price. So the rarer ones... Um, like the Yantras as well. I think Yantra is on there. So check that out this weekend. That's the special that they're doing. So there's no money off because they just did that for their 17th birthday with the 17% off. So it's patches with kits. Also the new stash bag comes with two extra patches. One being the sheep and came with Rufus the lion. One being the sheep. And I think Yanta as well, is it? Let me check, let me check. I'm on the Toth page because I downloaded my button. Uh, yes. So free, uh, no, Pascal and the Mandarin Duck. So I don't know if you can see that there. There we go. So those are the three patches you're going to get with your stash bag when normally you only get Rufus the Lion. Um, yeah, as you can see, Ethel the Kiwi. Louise the Terrapin, there you go, dinosaur patches. They've released some new butterfly kits as well, which are really nice, and you can get the morph metamorphosis patch again. Um, so yeah, all of those. Um, they're doing the cork notebook half price with an Estella. More, more butterflies, as you can see, loads of butterflies and the moth. Um, the Highland cow, the sheep. Um, yeah, Liz the, uh, Liz the Dodo as well with the patch. She, she's difficult to get hold of because she never goes to shows. Liz works in the finance um, section, so she never very rarely gets to go to shows. Yantra, look, look, all of them. So go for it. If you want any of these patches, go to the website and stick in your order. Um, it's only until, uh, let me have a 24th to the 28th of August. Um, I don't know what the times, let me look, see if it says the times. So from 12.30 p.m. British summer time, so GMT plus one, on Thursday the 24th of August, until 9 a.m. BST, which is GMT plus one, on Tuesday the 29th. So really get in your offer, um, because also they said if any sell out of their stock, then you won't get patch. So yeah, it says high volume of orders, uh, delivery times might take longer and patches are subject to avail availability while stocks last. So that is uh, Toft's update um, for this bank holiday weekend. Have a look, have an order. I'm not encouraging or enabling but if you can afford to and you want to, go for it. Right, the items that I have done this week. Um, so I have been crocheting this week. I will show you here. So firstly, um, I think I said to you last weekend, I had started my quagga and I showed you where I was at with my uh, Phileas the quagga, um, which is the conservationist's first instalment. It's all finished. It looks like his stripes are on the wonk there, but the centralizer was in the middle in the right place. Um, but yeah, I don't think he's meant to be completely like that be his middle section because they're all a bit on the wonk, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, all done. There are the stripes at the back and the mane and the tail. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I don't hate stripes, but I hate like trying to get things lined up. I'm a bit OCD. Um, so things that are slightly off, sometimes, yeah, I, I can't, my eyes are a bit like, it looks wrong, but it's not wrong, if that makes sense. So... If you if I lift up the arms, because there's one side, 
but my centralizer was in here, which is the middle. So I have put things like the arms were either side of the centralizer, which was in the middle, because you can still sign, kind of see the bump where I had it in there. So maybe I put the centralizer in the wrong place, or maybe it should have been further over this way, but hey ho. That is my Phileas the Quagga, all done. And I quite enjoyed doing these um, chain loop manes, actually. It was a lot of ends to sew in, but it's quite nice and effective if you look um, at doing a mane. Obviously it goes right up the top. And a little tail there, which again had chain, chain loops on it, if you can see. There we go. So yeah, all done with like hoof, hoof paws, if that makes sense. So yeah. Phileas is all done. Um, so he needs to just have a little photo shoot. I was going to try and do out in the garden somewhere. Um, but yes, so conservationist instalment one. Tick. Achievement unlocked. I'm not very good at doing my instalments normally. Um, as we know by the fact I've only done Beatrix out of my women's Making Women History subscription. Right, I have also made two sort of little minis um, this week mentioned a few weeks ago to you that I'm making loads of different toffed vegetables um, I've showed you the ones that I've made so far and then we have managed to make peas in a pod <laughs> they do actually come out there you go pop popped the pea out I'll pop it back in again now so peas in a pod are done I quite like the little leaf on the top there you go peas in a pod and then we have also managed a little teeny tiny pumpkin. Um, you can see there the pumpkin shape that I've done there. So that is also done. So on my list to do, I still need to do broccoli, cauliflower and spring onion that was out of, I think, the Flora Society instalment one of this year, I believe. Um, Yes, so that is what I've done so far at the moment. Yes, I've got Crochet Society box 44, I think it's on its way, or it's due next week. I think the date says the 31st of August, but I haven't had a dispatch confirmation yet. That will be my second box of my subscription, because I've signed up to a three-month paying one. I was trying to have a look this week, I'm not sure if I need to go and renew it for the next three months or if it auto renews and if I want to cancel it I need to cancel it I need to find out um, but I've still got one more box after this one as part of the subscription so I'm sure I've got time to sort that because it's every two months um, but yeah so that is due I think my discrete unicorns cl um, club is on the way um, I'm hoping to maybe hear from Bryony about spectrum fibers this coming week for that installment for August um, so yeah, I've got a few bits and bobs that will be coming as part of my subscriptions. Um, I did obviously, as I said, place an order in the Toft upside, upside? website update. Um, so that is obviously Wayne, Wayne the Sheep coming and I did actually do um, a bundle of yarn to add to my stash for um, sort of when I, when I did my stock, stock check of my Toft yarn. There are a few of the colours that I only had like one 25 gram ball um, so I've just done a colour bundle of six colours um, and picked a few odd ones just to sort of help with the stash really um, to make sure I've got stuff here in case I want to suddenly make something um, say putting in an order but yes right if you don't want to know if you haven't had yours and you haven't looked at your pattern or you don't want the spoilers then I would say thank you for watching and we'll see you next time I'm going to go through now the Toft New Flora Society that has literally hot off the press just arrived today. So best go now. Go on. Okay. Right. This is instalment number three. This is the autumn instalment. So it's three out of four. So we've only got one more left after this. So um, let me just rip off my address label here. Because as much as I love you all... I don't particularly want to give out my address on YouTube. All right, now that's done. Get rid of that. My box has arrived. Um, so I have already opened it and had a peek. I couldn't wait, sorry. Even though it only came at like two o'clock, just before we went out. Um, so yes, box has arrived. 
and we open and we have our leaflets as per normal. Um, so we've got an, our Eds Food Fund one for the summer competition. We have here a knit root hat. I can't knit. Another plant pot. I still want to make one of these as well. So, And I think I can do the smaller one in DK. The larger one is in Aaron. But I suppose you could do the larger one in DK. Just won't come out as big. Oh no, the pattern, I've never realised that. The pattern is the same, you just either make it in DK or Aran and it comes out obviously bigger. Um, and then it looks like they're doing an autumn knit along, not a crochet along. So on the back of this, I'll show you in a sec, it says um, Toft Autumn Cow and they're going to be knitting in the round to make the twine hat. So they've got a twine hat kit and this knit along is going to be running from the 10th to the 17th of October. So... Here you are. Uh, hold that there for you. Um, so that is going to be running, which I haven't seen on their socials yet. So obviously that might come up in the next day or two. Now we've all been receiving these parcels. Something for you to join in if you want to want to join in. You can knit. I can't. So box comes with our little wooden. Not too sure what you'd call that. Wood. It's not wooden. Shredded paper. Shredded wood. Sounds really weird. Um, so we've got a little bag here, which I've opened, and then we have two of our brown bags. So I'll show you the one, the little one first. So I've sort of ripped it, but it came with a, oh look, it's like a little caterpillar logo. So when we open that, which Michelle tried to do, I thought it was going to be something to do with Milton the Worm because I know my friend Kylie loves Milton the Worm. So inside we have some safety eyes, just plain black ones. And then we have some magenta here, a little stash of magenta. So that's that. Um, then we have this little bag, which on the back of it says uh, Pak Choi and Cucamelon, Cucamelon, Cucamelon. So we've got 25 grams of sage and 25 grams of green here. So I'll show you that. I haven't opened this one yet. I'm not sure if it's the old or new sage. I'm going to try and open this carefully so we don't rip the label. Let's have a look. I keep hearing the car doors go. I'm hoping there's no more parcel deliveries to interrupt this video. Um, this is New Sage, you can tell straight away because it's like Statue of Liberty colour. So that's New Sage there. I've often, I need to ask Kerry this because like for example, the batch numbers, right? It's 22, 338. What, I mean, we haven't had 22,338 batches, have we? And you get a lot of them with the same batch number. So I don't know if that's like 2022 wool but then colour 338, I don't know. I'm going to ask the question. I'll ask it when I go to queue. Someone remind me in October. Um, and then we've got green, uh, standard green with your cream and black, which are obviously for your eyes. There we go. So that's what we've got in there to make Pak Choi and Cuca Melon. Cuca Melon? Cuca Melon? See, this is where I learn a load of vegetables that I never knew. Right, this one I've opened. So this one is for Borlotti beans in a pod. And it says on the back, ingredients, 100 grams of Borlotti pure, pure wool yarn dyed and skeined by hand at Toft HQ, Warwickshire. For best results, wind your skein before crocheting. There we go. So as you can tell, this is a hand dye. We've got a special hand dye, which is lovely. And it is lovely. So you've probably seen me just pull it out. There we go. I won't make you wait any longer. So it's sort of a bit of the Statue of Liberty sage colour, um, I have to say, with all of these sort of pinky flecks through it. So I wonder if this was what Jess was dyeing recently on uh, Instagram, because they did show a picture of her in black and white. Um, so yeah. This is it's quite chunky in the middle there. I think it's just loosely wound. 
So this is Bellotti yarn, 100% wool. And we'll need, obviously, caking before we can use it. So that is our hand dye that we've got. So this is the first hand dye we've had. Um, we did obviously get the beetroot yarn for the kidney bean. So that was a special that we got um, at the time. And yeah, now we've got this one. So yeah, very, very, very pleased with that one. It's a nice color. So those are what we have got to make. So we've got pak choy and cucamelon and balotti beans in a pod. Let's put this back in properly. And I will try and show you on my phone, but I will put pictures in afterwards as well um, of what we are making. So these might not show you. So here is our collection of what we're making. So we have pak choy, the balotti beans, the cucamelon, and oh look, what's this? Sylvia the Caterpillar, I believe she's called. There is our Caterpillar. Then we've got... <laughs> his look like they're wearing an anorak. Bellotti, beans in a pod. That's going to be interesting if we've got to squeeze those in after we've made the pod. Uh, Cucamelon. There we go. Pak choy. There you go. That is what we are making. That is our collection. Uh, let me go back to the pattern and have a look. So yeah, cucumelon, bellotti beans in a pod. And yes, it's Sylvia the caterpillar. That's what we're making. So spoilers, there you go. So quite nicely, because I finished the pumpkin last night, I don't have a project at the moment on my hook. So I think I'm going to start. I think I'm going to sit here and cake the hand dye yarn um, and try and make the caterpillar, I think, first. But um, I tend to do them in order of the patterns. Um, so, yeah, that is our Flora Society instalment number three. So I've realised I've waffled on for quite a long time for you today. Well, long for me. Let me have a sip of my tea that hubby made me before this video. Mm. Ah. Do you like a bit of tea? been building lego this morning as well harry potter lego um so yeah i've kind of gone through all the crochet chit chat and updates earlier on in the video for those who didn't want spoilers so i guess really that's it from me i will do some crochet over this bank holiday weekend um enjoy the long weekend if you are able to in the uk if you get all that time off um but yeah if you want patches go 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 Right, thank you all for watching. Uh, have a good weekend and the rest of your week and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.